everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be reviewing these guys. So, yeah. So, we're gonna start off with this one, I guess, right now. So, this one has a lot of articulation and it's the extreme damage. Um, what's your name again? You know, we're just gonna call him Red, alright? So, he's an extreme damage, as you can see right here. So, one thing I noticed about the, him when I had him is that he has a lot of articulation and a lot of, he's got a ball joint in the head. The tail spins around, that's for sure. Not, nothing much, but the legs don't move that good. So, yeah, you'll have to pose him in a form where you can get him to stand. He has, uh, he doesn't have any paint as you can see on the top layer, but... He has it on the bottom layer, if you can see that well. Yeah, so you can just pose him like... Yeah. Mm. See? He should be going... Yeah. Here. This guy. Keep trying to train him. He goes... Yeah. Now that we've reviewed that guy, he doesn't have much to review. These guys are pretty small. There's not a lot of to them. Oh yeah, hold on, I forgot one thing. Yep, there's your cute uh, scan butt code. So we're gonna pit him over here. See, this guy's got a big head, so still no paint on the inside, so yeah. It's on the bottom. It's got a QR code, so let's. I think this is hard to get to. Hold up. Alright, so there's his QR code. It's got some small arms, not a lot of articulation to them. Not a lot of articulation on this guy. Uh, yeah. His uh, tail spins around uh, 360 degrees around, like all of them do, and a ball joint in the head. One thing I don't like about this guy is in the movie he was very small compared to any other uh, thing, but he, he's quite big as a toy, so I wish they would make it where he's actually uh, full-sized. They came out with a repaint of this, but they didn't full, uh, size it to the right thing. Like, it'd be cool if it was in a mini pack. Um, yeah, that's the Moro. So, yeah, this guy's not too uh, detailed. Well, it's got a lot of detail into it, but not a lot of articulation. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'll review one more guy. I'll put you over there in the back. And let's go grab one. Alright, so this is in the pack of the Moros, uh, uh, thing, so, yeah, so, I don't, I forgot what this guy's name is, but he looks kind of close to, related to the, uh, Kenthro, well, all, uh, well, all of them are, really. he's got an upper jaw paint and a lower jaw, so, yeah, detailed enough. Uh, yeah, he's got some detail on the thing. I wouldn't say there's detail on the spikes, but, yeah. And now, his legs are, uh, don't, his legs got some articulation, just not a lot. A ball joint at the head, and I believe the tail spins three. yep, the tail spins 360 degrees. Jeez. So, yeah. Spins all around, and what... Uh, what I like about this guy is he got a nice painted, th uh, like spikes coming out of his back, uh, side hips. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering where the uh, skin bar is, where it's on the very back, right here. Let's go ahead and scan that. Boom. So you can pose him kind of like this. Kind of stand him up and then, mm. see, go, mm -mm. or you can stand him up eating the grass. See, num nums, eating his num nums. 
All right, and that is this guy. So, have a nice t uh, day. All y'all, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And see you again sometime.